I hit a super duck to win this wrestling tournament. Through five matches, I was constantly scoring and got into some crazy scrambles. Sit back and grab a snack, because this is a movie. Well, we're starting off today in the locker room because I forgot my camera in my locker overnight, and I thought I lost it. But let's check our weight. So the verdict is 143.1. I wrestle 141, so 2.1 pounds over for tomorrow for the Finley Open. This is my first college wrestling tournament of the year. And I'll tell you what, I'm now 22 years old, right? That's still so weird for me to say. But definitely when I was 18, when I first came here as a freshman, and from these hard practices, from the matches, I would, of course, recover just like, just like any other, you know, high school wrestler. But now, not saying I'm old or anything, but I can honestly see the difference of how my body reacts to certain training and that I really need to stress recovery. So definitely getting, you know, like four, maybe five matches in this weekend, it's gonna be a great test. And especially this earlier in the year, no better place to have it. But it's currently about Friday, 7 a.m. We leave off at 10 a.m., six hour drive from Southeast Wisconsin over to Finley, Ohio. Yeah, I definitely have to do some recovery this morning. Now, if you guys remember at all, I didn't wrestle at the Finley Open last year because I think I think it was my knee or maybe it was my shoulder. But this was a fun open where there's a lot of D2 teams, some NAI teams. Sometimes you even get some uh, like D1 red shirts that come on by. But actually, last year's main focal point was Braden Davis. He's now at Penn State, but at 125, he was a high schooler and ends up winning that college open. He beat the returning D2 125 pound NCAA national champ. And it's crazy, like almost ever since that vid, it kind of opened my eyes to high schoolers on the college scene. And you know, now we got what? Marcus Blaze beating Matt Ramos. You got Bo Bassett winning college opens. But overall, I'm really looking forward to this weekend. This is my last time wrestling until December 9th. And it's what, November 17th? Because usually after the Finley Open, next up we got the Jim Cook Open. I won't be wrestling at that one. This is our home tournament, I won't be wrestling because my brother is actually getting married the day before. And really, uh, I think you have more wrestling opportunities than uh, siblings getting married. So I'm really excited for that, but also I think it's gonna be a great rest right after Finley. So we gotta make sure to give it our all this video. Ugh. But just thinking positive thoughts, imagining myself getting first place, and we're gonna do the best that we possibly can. Chocolate chip oatmeal protein again. We went generous on the honey. You guys know I love my honey. I need to come out with Henschel's honey. Would you guys want Henschel's honey? I think that'd be a pretty sick product. One other thing, guys, I want to talk to you guys about. I'd say a handful of you guys are younger wrestlers or newer wrestlers, and you always comment, Caden, I got this tournament coming up. I got this match coming up. What's your best wrestling tip for me? My biggest wrestling tip is that wrestling tips will not win you the match, plain and simple. But what I will say is this, if you feel like the training leading up to your competition was enough, you gave it your all, you did the best you could possibly do, then why stress about it? Because at the end of the day, when you go put your foot in the line, shake your opponent's hand and get ready to wrestle, the work you put in will not be any less. So that right there should shut down some fear of being like, okay, I know the work I put in, I know the hours I spent on the mat, and I know that the work I put in will not be less than what I did. And so with that, of course you can work harder in training Training, if you guys haven't been training like that, but that's a big thing I was thinking about recently that I think me and everyone else could benefit from. You guys know the deal? Going back to Tetris Blast. Do you feel when you're cutting weight? It's different. Now, if you guys are looking for clean energy to keep you laser focused, G Fuel is the best option for you. Amazing taste, no sugar, and it's loaded with vitamins and antioxidants. And of course, G Fuel's having the buy one, get one Black Friday sale. And what's also cool is during this week, they're actually adding new flavors to it that they've never released, including with limited edition shaker bottles. Now, the sale ends November 27th at midnight, and you guys can save 20% off your order using code Caden. Now, we really didn't get a chance to work out in the morning, which kind of sucked, but we had to work out later. So anyways, we headed on the road, went to Parkside to hop in the bus. Thankfully, we had a big coach bus. This was definitely a lot nicer than having vans. So we drove around here. Um, six hours is a long time, so we ended up stopping at Subway first. And then towards 3 p.m., we started playing Mafia. We played this game for a while. Definitely the best game to play on a bus ride. And then we got to Finley late at night to get our workout in. Weigh in, practice, officially done. I weighed in three and a half over, so 144 and a half. Um, basically, I got leggings on, and then I got sweatpants, and then a nice dry fit shirt, cotton shirt. That pretty much did the trick. Russell for an hour, hour 10. Roll around with Easton a little bit. A um, couple other teams just rolling around here, working out, but I think we're close to weight, but definitely we'll flow a bit. Can't really drink much, which, which sucks, getting a little cotton mouth, but feeling good, feeling light. Um, vibes are up, so just trying to feel happy and grateful to be here. So, no hot tub, because it's closed. But we're gonna go get some food at the nice Kroger. 
in the hotel room. Still about half a pound over. Worst cotton mouth ever, so I'm definitely gonna enjoy drinking something tomorrow. But just gonna chill out, and go to bed, wake up tomorrow, and we're gonna get my first up at Finley. All the way in at Finley, which is nice. Got some liquids in us, feeling good. It's gonna be a good day. It's not cold in here as last time, which is nice. And I think the key to victory today is always putting the action forward. So whether that be me A attacking or if a guy gets onto a shot immediately looking to score, lock something up, keep scoring points. I think that's the biggest thing. Just go forward. You are so smart. You ready for the chop? Keep that seal. Good. You're out. Keep moving our hands. Keep moving our hands. Posts are going to be there. Good. Keep moving. Punch underhook. Catch a reaches. So first match, just what happened. I'm glad I, glad I got the win. First freaking win of Finley, which was nice because I never won a match here. But I'll tell you what, I guess that guy was actually pretty decent because he goes back and forth with the guy um, on that team ranked uh, at Lake Erie pretty close. So, um, But I, he, I think he was really scared to shoot. Uh, I timed two perfect low singles, just felt good. Top was a little frustrating because he, he did a good job of just keeping me away and was hard to return. He was kind of like wider and shorter, but um, you know, we got called for selling there. He got called for selling twice, but just escaping there. Classic escape. Um, just looking to climb here in the brackets. Team's doing good. Uh, Reese just lost to the number one ranked kid, which kind of sucks, but I mean, there's, they don't seed any of the brackets here, which is kind of wild. I wish they did, but uh, nonetheless, we're here to fight. We're here to show up and going to continue on the day.
Alrighty, match two check-in. Wow, we uh, got our first bonus points victory of the year. No back points though, which uh, it, it is what it is, okay? We'll, we'll work on it. Um, but I think just a good, solid match. Uh, just firing off the attacks, shooting for something else other than a slide by and a low single. It was great on that double leg. So not only do I got you know my blast double there, but you can see me going off to one leg. If that double leg isn't there, I'm going off to one, and I'm sticking with that. And you can see me, I wasn't really finishing low other than that last segment. I brought it up, and with elevation, you can see like that guy made a mistake. He tried to do a stupid roll. I ended up getting some points and also just bringing it up to up to the feet. So, you know, at best, bring, bringing the leg up is the best thing that you can possibly do when you have a leg because it's easier to finish. You don't want to get yourself into some scrambles. But hey, we're going to keep battling here. A um, couple ranked guys going down in the bracket, but I think we just got to stay level headed. I feel so good. Just fast on my feet, just light. And I just, I, I'm, I like wrestling right now. I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> so. Sometimes, of course, it can be pretty tough, but just remind yourself, you're doing this because it's fun. And you're doing this because of the person that you can be at the end of it. You're gonna find so much more about yourself through wrestling than any other thing that I've personally done. So, uh, it's a great day so far at Finley Open. Let's continue the rain.
I got her. Well, I'll tell you what. A super duck to get me into the semifinals. I'll take that any day. Honestly, I feel like I'm wrestling out of my mind. Not, not even, actually, no. I'm going to take that back. I think I'm wrestling how I know I can be wrestling. First, you know, near fall points of the year. That's always nice. I'm, I couldn't get the pin there. Uh, I was just in a little weird position. But, yeah, we, get, we got two more matches here. Win or lose, no matter what happens. The biggest thing here is to remain level-headed, consistent, what we've been doing, feeling good, feeling confident in our shots. Just know that we're better. The, the work we put in, it's, it's what got us here, and it's what's going to keep us going forward. Chop wood, carry water, dude. But we're definitely having fun. It's fun when you're winning, I'll tell you that. Here we go. Let's keep it going. Fourth match of the day coming up. Win the hand fight, Hancho, win the hand fight. Oh, coach is taking it out. Dude, like, everybody's wrestling right now. Elon, Corrigan. She's all the way. Bounce up, Caden. Bounce up. Get that elbow free. There you go. Now move it. Shot. Take something out of here, Edchel. Big lift, big lift. Good, good, good. Get it, get it. Good. You're good with that, you're good with that. You're good. Close the gap and level change. There it is. Good there you job. go, there you go. Sure. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, finals bound. That match, man, it was got a little chippy. Definitely his like, technique, it just seemed like raw. Like dude had a lot of strength, right? But I just played played a smart match. I knew where I was best. Kept trying to get to the low singles. I almost feel like, hey, let's go. Let's go. I almost feel like uh, she got called for stalling more, but nonetheless, I mean like stay on the legs. Good job on that out of bounce there when I just doubled him. Just knowing the situation, biggest part about wrestling, especially in close matches, know the situation and then execute on that. So crafty, how we doing? We're in the finals, baby. You are too? Yeah. I didn't even know that. Congrats to Jake. We're going to get some titles. Okay, time to take it home. All right. Bring, well, it, on home to, do it. bring it down to home to Parkside. Nice no, he videos. forfeited out. Oh, thank you. He forfeited uh, out. Time to bring Hardware back. One more match. Thumbnail. Caden. Crap. And Liz. Keep moving the hands. Let's go, Caden. Losing 13 to 3. 
We win finally, finally. After going 0-2, never winning a match at Finley. Next thing you know, we win the tournament. Just a little bit of belief system in yourself and to believe that you can accomplish something. Because I'll tell you what, there were many times when thoughts started creeping into being like, dude, like he's better, I'm tired, my, my shoulder hurts, whatever that may be. But I think one thing, one thing is for certain, that's if you're gonna have that belief in yourself, that's the most powerful thing you can do. You're capable of so much more than you think. And this, this was a pretty big deal to me, so it was cool. <laughs> it was fun. And that's, 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 that's awesome. I'm, I'm really happy. Listen, this has been a great video. Man, this is fun. We're Finley Champs, baby. No other words. Nothing, shoot! Guys! Guys! boy. So good old Superman got another upset, and, and Ray was the last match, so ended up on a win here. And of course, you guys know the deal. Ended up to celebrate at Culver's. Well, hey guys, I'm sorry if this took forever. I feel like it's been like a documentary. This thing's like half an hour long. But just my final thoughts here, I want to say how grateful I am to be in this position because there's there were so many people who came up to me and just said how much they appreciate the videos and love what I'm doing. And there was a decent amount of people who actually drove up too to see me come wrestle. So it was nice talking to literally all of you guys. It was amazing. Specifically, I'm going to give out a shout out to Justin, who's actually a patron for a long, long time. Super cool chatting with him. Looking forward to seeing how he does this season. And then also a huge shout out to Blake. You know, it always means the world to me when someone can almost look up to me as a role model because kind of that means I'm doing something right. And I'll show you this here too. Blake actually gave me a wrestling pick of him. So shout out to you, Blake. That will always be here up on the shelf. And I'll tell you what, Blake, I'm going to use this as motivation. So thank you. But what a great start to the season. It's only going to go up from here too. If you guys are looking for the single best wrestling course to better your skills and win more matches, I'll have the Perler wrestling course linked in the description. I've been personally using the Perler system for years now. And I highly encourage you guys, if you want to have success this season, that you go and get the course. Also, thank you to Barbell Apparel always hooking me up with the clothes. Literally everything you saw me training in and wearing all came from Barbell Apparel. I have my own designated merch on there too. But thanks guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please like this video and subscribe if you guys are new. Shout out to the patrons. We'll see you guys next video.